Yes, Umber. Umber is that one character you got when you started Genshin Impact and never used again once you did your first temple on the Noel banner. And also, she is known to be on the last place in every single tier list. But this has to stop. Let me, a C6 Trooper Crown Umber main, convince you that she's actually a good character and should be ranked here, in your next tier list, and not here. To start off, Amber is Pyro. Even with Dendro taking the spotlight recently, Pyro is still one of the best elements. Melt, Vaporize, Overloaded, Burning, Burgeon. She is a bow user. This might be a selling point or a hard skip for some. But as I said, bow user has a ton of different weapons to choose from. And some good free to play weapons, such as Crimson Pike or even Sharpshooter Zoof. But for the provisional gamblers, such as you watching right now, James, you should go with LG. Why? It's just insane! Play Umber with LG and a 4 piece Noblesse, and you have one of the best support characters for Huta. You get a 40% attack damage bonus and an additional 100 elemental mastery for everyone in the party. Also, you will recharge pretty good party goals with her burst, while leaving a low cost to run her. And if you are one of the 6 people who pulled on the standard banner for Umber Constellation to get her C6, you can add an additional 15% attack boost and a 15% speed boost, making it a total of 55% attack boost, 100 elemental mastery and 50% speed increase. And that's a lot. But let's start play styles. Melt Amber. If you have Amber C0 or C1, you can play her as a main DPS. Obviously, it's better with C1. You get an additional arrow that deals 20% of your first arrow's damage. It's like Anu, but without steroids. If you want a good classic Amber, go with a 4 piece Wanderer's Troop and go attack, pyro damage, and crit damage for the main stats. For the sub stats, crit damage, elemental mastery, attack percent, and flat attack. And yes, you don't need crit rate. The only downside being that you need to shoot weak points, and it doesn't work on 90% of bosses. But you can perfectly run a number with 300% crit damage and 2.47% crit rate with no problem. If you don't have a full piece, you can go with a 2 piece Crimson and a 2 piece Wonder. Or a 2 piece Crimson and a Flower of Lost Paradise or Glided Dreams that also gives 80 elemental mastery. I mean, if nothing else is available, 4 piece Crimson or a 2 piece that gives EM and 2 piece attack or EM. Honestly, go with what you have. For that kind of Umber, you should go with a good DPS weapon. The best choices are Aquasim Lacra, Thundering Pulse, Amos Boo, then Skyward Hawk, Hunter's Path, and Polar Star. For the 4 star, Black Cliff, Prototype Crescent, Hayayumi, and all the bows with high attack. And Sharpshooter is extremely good at R5 if you don't have any other choices. In this scenario, you want to maximize your damage, so you should go with a party with Amber, obviously, and a second pyro unit so you can get the pyro synergy for additional damage. I'd recommend using Bennett, I mean he's the number one choice, but if you don't have that maybe Shangling I guess? Then you could go with Sucrose or Kazwa or Venti with a 4 piece Vertescent for the resistance shred. And a cry unit, I'd recommend Diana. You get a shield and if you have her C6, 200 more elemental mastery. Layla is also good for that. You just need a character that will apply cryo. Don't go with Mecha. Machine Gun Umber. It's not bad. 2 piece spell flame and 2 piece chivalry with attack, physical bonus and crit damage or crit rate. And crit damage, crit rate, attack percent and attack flat for the substat. Here the crit rate will matter more because your Umber will go brrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrr
Nuke Umber, this is the thing you want. This is the hardest way to play her, but it's the more rewarding one. But unfortunately, it's not viable before C2. You can still go it, but <laughs> you need a good timing. This team consists of manually detonating your Umber Baron Bunny. If you want huge damage, you will need C4. That will unlock a second bunny. But if you want better damage, you need C5. This requires a 4-piece Crimson with attack pyro bonus, crit rate, or crit damage. For the subset, crit rate, crit damage, and elemental mastery and attack. Or if you are me and you don't have a full set crimson because you hate farming that dungeon, you can go with EM 2 piece and crimson 2 piece. So, go with Umber, Avid as user, Kazwa is number one priority, or you can go with C6 Sucrose or what you have. If you need to apply cryo, Diona is the best, especially if she's C6. And if she has LAG, it's literally the best choice. If you don't need to apply cryo, if you try to beat something like the cryo cube, you can go with Mona. And for the last spot, you need Bennett. He is very essential. This is pretty tricky to set up, but it looks like that. <laughs> I just killed that thing. <laughs> Support slash stop DPS Umber. Honestly, this is the most fun way to play Umber and the easiest one. C3 and C6 is going to be the most useful on this category. You can go with a 4 piece emblem, energy recharge, or attack, pyro bonus, crit rate, crit damage, or elemental mastery if you need to break cryo shell. For the substat, Definitely energy recharge, crit rate, crit damage, elemental mastery. Umber has a very low cost to run of only 40 energy. And if you pair her with Allergy, I mean Allergy is always number one choice for her as a support. Five new sacrificial bow and the stringless could be good for sub DPS purposes. Those five star weapon could still be used, but I'd say keep them for another character. This team is very good with a pyro main that needs a battery. You could go with Hu Tao, Shinkyu, Zongli, Umber, or honestly depends on what you have. But if you need a cryo shield breaker, she is very good. Another excellent piece is 4 piece Noblesse with the same stats or emblem. This is actually a really good Bennett at home, especially if you need a non healer for your Hu Tao. Burgeon Umber. Honestly, I never tried. But in this case, I'd say go with a 2-piece elemental mastery and 2-piece crimson or go 2-piece and 2-piece elemental mastery. With elemental mastery, pyro bonus and crit rate, crit damage or maybe elemental mastery. For the substat, elemental mastery, crit rate, crit damage, energy recharge because she will be useful with her burst. For the weapon, I think here the allergy and the stringless are the best choices. She would be played with Nahida, I mean you can go without her. Shinkyu or Nailu, Leila or Diana and Amber and enjoy dealing damage. Ah yes, I don't have Nahida. Alright, now you can tell your friends that Amber is actually good. If you have money, consolations, friends and spend your whole life building Amber. <laughs> and also, thanks for watching. Subscribe if you enjoyed and bye!